Hey guys, welcome. I am so excited about my little project today. And I don't know what it is about these like take care of business projects that make me so excited. I don't know if you're the same way, who knows. Long and short of it is, I just got picked up from the Shimmers design team and I am super excited. So what I did is I went along and I went through my stash and found all of my Shimmers paints, right? I have these plus these. This just has a, a special little thing I have to tell you about. Um, so I went through all, and I've got them from kit clubs and from the store and here, there, and everywhere, right? Great. So I thought, since I am now on the design team, it's a really good idea for me to swatch them. So I went ahead and cut some basil marshmallow cardstock. It's untreated. You know, it's, it, I don't have gesso or anything on it. Um, I went ahead and cut it up, up in two by four squares. Aren't they cute? Or actually it's called a rectangle, everybody. This is a rectangle. Uh, punched the corner with like the most vintage hole punch ever and grabbed a nice little loop-de-doop here. Now, this is not going to last me for long. I have a big fat order in with shimmers and we all know that these things tend to grow, but I'll go score some bigger ones of these. I just thought I would grab what I have for now and I will get a big old honkin' one. It's going to work out. So all of these paints, I'll go like this, are available in the store right now. This one right here, this Jenny B Blue, I believe is just in a color kit right now. I don't think you can buy it separately. I'll double check that though before I put this video live. Uh, I went through really quickly just to make sure that everything I have is still being sold and all that kind of stuff. So next, what I thought I would do, and guys, remember to do your shimmers like this, which I'll do off screen because I want to do quicker so you don't get all those bubbles and you don't stop up your stopper. Although, I mean, you can just rinse it in hot water if you do. Not a biggie. So what I thought I would do is I'm gonna grab a pack of wipes that I have. I'm gonna have those handy. I've got my super cute crafting queen mug from The Nick. Look, isn't that cute on the inside? And it says, I, I don't wanna tilt it too much. Isn't that cute? That is my official water coloring vibes, nifty little craft mug because it makes me so happy. And I thought we would just go ahead and swatch them one by one. Now I know I'm gonna want them on this side because I want the hook to be right there. So yeah, I figure we would just do what we need to do and I'll do all the blues. So my first one, I have a Vibes. It's Jenny B Blue and Vibes is an iridescent water-based sprayable medium used to blah, 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 but it's iridescent and has nice color and shimmer. So let's see, I need to try all, all of my nozzles. <gasps> oh yes. Mm-hmm. That is pretty. So pretty. What I thought I would do with just a little dab of water on these as we're playing along is I just thought I would kind of let it fizzle out as we go. Like see what, let me say that better again. I wanted to see how light it gets because it gives you a really great idea of all the different colors you can get with just that one paint. How awesome is that? Hello. So I'm going to pop these one by one off to the side with their little friends and I will go ahead once they're dry with a nice little black Sharpie and write their names down on them so he can sit over there and be so pretty. I need to get a roll of paper towel. That's really what I need to do. So that is Jenny B. Blue, and I think we can all agree that it is awesome. I'm going to get paper towel. I'll be right back in one second because I want to lay them on something to dry. Okay, guys, I went and got my paper towel so I can just set it off to the side and have a whole bunch drying at the same time. But I thought I would have some fun and get some drippy bits too. Guys, look at that tone. So pretty. So now I can see what it looks like with drippy bits and what not. So pretty. You know what I should also do? Okay, we see the drips. We see how the color comes out a bit. Let me get this big old nozzle. Get a couple little splatty bits to see when it's super strong on there. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, 
Awesome. So I'm going to let this dry over here and let's see what our next blue is. And I thought I'd go ahead and do this each time I get a uh, new set of colors because maybe you really want to see what they look like, look like. All right. So that gorgeous one was a Vibes. This is also a Vibes and it's called Snow Wayman. So let me get it nice and ready. It has got like this beautiful, like white pearly shimmer in it. I'm trying not to shake it up, not shake it up, roll it up on camera because that can be a little oof to watch. Okay, so this, yeah, I see why they went with Snow Wayman. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I actually like the way it sprayed so much that I think I'm gonna leave it almost as is. I don't wanna mess with it too much. Let me get some of the Jenny B Blue out of here so we don't cross pollinate too much. But oh my goodness, that is pretty. Like you can have it fade out to the lightest ice color. So super gorgeous. I don't even have to do splatty bits because it's kind of drying like that which I think is the bee's knees. I'm gonna get a little bit of drippage because I like drippage. What do you guys think? That is so pretty and it's, it's coming into a lot more of like that beautiful sky blue color. That is gorgeous. And I know it's called Snow Wayman, be, which makes it great for winter, but that's like the most beautiful summer sky color as well. Love it. Okay, next I have a colorings and this one's called Well Blew Me Down and the colorings, uh, they're extremely colorful, sprayable medium, ba, 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 ba. yes, water-based, gorgeous, so gorgeous. But these are flat. So these don't have the sparkle, the glitter, all of that. So you know, it's one of those things like this kind of color or this kind of product, I really like the idea of starting with and then kind of um, layering up the sparkly bits on top. But I say that today and tomorrow I will want to do it a different way. And I know that. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at this creamy, gorgeous. Oh, see right here, any time colors bring in like a little bit of a creamy tone to them, they just have me smitten. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And once again, this is well blew me down. Now I look at it this way and it's beautiful, right? It looks super, super deep teal. Then I spray it and look at that. Just the bee's knees. It has that whole creamy turquoise vibe that I'm so much into. So pretty. And that's why I wanted to do this because I can look at the products, right? And they might look, you know, super dark in the bottle because, you know, paints are always darker in the bottle and all that stuff. But I want to see what they look like on the marshmallow cardstock because that's generally what I would do my mixed media on. I shouldn't say that. If I'm going to use a plain white cardstock, it's generally marshmallow. But I mean, I go on, you know, regular paper and all that kind of stuff and just just so as I go. All right, so let's see. Next, I have a Vibes again, and this one is called Hermit the Frog, which you guys know what the colors in Shimmers remind me of. They remind me of um, like OPI nail polishes. Like they're funny, sweet names on them. All right, Hermit the Frog, and I do love lime green. Oh, but this, I mean, this is going like into like, I mean, it still has to dry, but it has this really great, like limey, fun, well, Kermit color, obviously. All right, I'm gonna do just a couple splatty bits because I wanted to do that on all of them. And I'm gonna wash it out a little bit too. I don't think I did it on the last one. Hmm, that's okay, that's okay. Still have a tiny bit of the blue on that, but I just wanna see like what we can fade into. And you know, I don't have this treated, so it's not going to do it as well as if I had gesso going. Guys, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. 
If you guys like a really vibrant limey green, you will be pleased as punch. Absolutely. Okay, let's get that off my board. Ta -ta. Okay, next, I have a colorings. So same thing, it's a flat color. It is gorgeous. It's gonna be really nice and vibrant. And let me show you, Hermit the Frog is lighter and has that pearly kind of vibe, and this one has a deeper hue. So let's get the next little swatchy card ready to party, because, you know, it's fun. Let me see, maybe I'll come in just a little bit more. Next swatchy card, making sure to get that pigment here, there, and everywhere. Oh my goodness, guys. This is giving me that creamy thing again that I like so much. Oh my goodness. So guys, and it has a really nice amount of yellow in it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get me some splatty bits on the top because I got a little heavy handed with my spray. Just so I can have some dried splatty bits as I go. Super gorgeous, super pigmented and rich and happy, 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 happy color. So this is the Kermit the Frog. And this is, hold on, don't citron me. So definitely does have some of the yellow of the uh, citron kind of vibe like you would think. In the bottle, I don't think I would pick up on that. I would think it is a much darker hue and that is why I am doing this little party. And like I said, I'm just gonna do it for all of them and it'll be great. You know, and like when I get my order that I made yesterday, I'll do the same. All right, this is a Vibes, it's called Sunstrip, Sunset Strip and this has that gorgeous shimmer in it. It is exquisite. I only have sprays to show you today. I ordered a bunch of the gorgeous watercolor pots so and the dots. So I'm excited about them, okay. So there it is all mixed up in the bottle. It has a fab mac and cheese kind of orange vibe to it. Like this, it, this sunset strip, it is, I mean, you would, all, I would call it, well, I'd call it mac and cheese orange, but it is yellowy. But look at the splatty bits come out so nice and deep in tone. Come on where I'm putting you, there we go. I wanted some right there. So, gorgeous, bright, colorful sunset strip. It is, we're gonna have a little bit of the shimmer when it dries in a minute. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It is the good stuff. Do you guys get this happy about paints? I get this happy about paints. Most of the paintings in my house, the artwork are actually, you know, acrylic paintings that I've done, so I get very over the top excited it's wet right now but we're gonna have a nice shimmer and i'll show you in a little bit as i'm finishing swatching these i will show you um how the dry ones look okay so let's see guys what did i do with this like how i bet i used this cap <laughs> dipping into some black for um to make circles and then of course i didn't clean it out and i'm looking at it going ew that, that looks nice. Okay, we're gonna worry about that another day. This one right here, it's a Vibes and it's Glorious Day. And it is a lovely, lovely yellowy gold. Let's see how we do. Ooh, I like that we're getting some splatty bits at the same time. I'm pro splatty bit, it's true. So let's see, it is a really nice, like glorious yellow gold, of course, and it is called Glorious Day. Ta-da! Little bit of a weird amount of play on words there. Let me get another little wipe out here to make sure I don't have any of the green on it. Come in, little guy. Let's see what it looks like washed out a little bit. But isn't that just gorgeous? Pretty, 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 gorgeous, vibrant, uh, so perfect. Okay, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. I should have 
a piece of cardstock here and dip it in each of them. Oh, well, too late now. All right, so the next one, I have a colorings again. So it's a flat color, super vibrant and gorgeous. And this one is called a Mandarin Mai Tai. Let's see. Oh, good. I got some splatty bits off of that because I didn't depress it as hard. Which, yeah, depending on your pressure on your nozzle, you can get different good stuff happening, which is so fun. It's always good to spend some time with your uh, your paints and your goodies when you're not just crafting. To you know, get to know them a little bit better when you're not like, oh my gosh, I have to fix this or the color was a little off. If you play around like this, you can really get somewhere with it. I think that's going to do a nice little bit of drippage right there. And who am I to stop it? Come on, little guy. Come on. You can do it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. So what do we have next? We will go with, okay, I have a pink, a pink, pink. I had them just in my little container. <laughs> um, yeah, in a, a bit of a rainbow because it made me happy. All right, so this is a Vibes, and it is called Sweetheart, which makes me think it's going to come out as a Sweetheart Pink, because that's its job. Let us see what this little fella has to offer. Oh, yes. I did that one closer, so I had a stronger concentration. Not as much went out onto my uh, glass mat. Oh yes, beautiful splatty bits, nice color wash. Oh my goodness. So yes, this is a Vibes and I'm liking it. Guys, if you saw how pretty my, my um, swatch board is over here, I'll take a picture of it and show you in a little bit. I'm trying to get some drippies. It is so pretty. Perfect to look pink. I need a whole, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to need room for five more of these bits at the top of my desk because I have them so spread apart so I can look at how pretty they are that I ran out of room because, you know, these things happen. Okay, next. Let's get these gorgeous bits off. Guys, it's like... Spritz gone wild. I have it going everywhere. Okay. Next is a colorings again. And this is pretty in pink. Very psychedelic furs like that. All right. Let's get it a little shaky shaky. All right. Let's see what we've got, guys. And it comes out so different than what's in the bottle. Like freakishly different, guys. Look at that. I mean, how is that even a thing? Like, is that a really, like, a thing? I, I can't even, guys. It's gorgeous. It is stunning when it comes out. Now, look at that. My spray went one way. I wonder if I just grabbed all of the lighter stuff that's in the bottom of the nozzle. But, guys, I'm so happy with that. All right, I'll spray it again. I'm going to be fair. No. That is the what's what with this, and I don't even know how that's a thing. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's glorious. Let's have it do a little drippage. I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased as punch with Pretty in Pink. Okay, and let me put that up top here. Because, yes, I'm, like, running out of room on myself, and I set up this project. All right, I only have four more. And I shot that somehow all over my desk. I am a hot mess. That's awesome. I got a little excited. Okay, let's go for next. We can grab this colorings in pink stiletto. Ooh, yeah, that's why I had that there. I don't like the glare when I have my glass mat out. Ugh. All right, so this is a colorings in pink stiletto. Remember, colorings are the flat colors. So vibes have shimmer shimmer and colorings do not. And not flat like in a bad way. You don't always, like sometimes you want that dimension. You have flat color, sparkly, and then like crazy sparkly. 
So, and I like all of them. Okay, yep, mm-hmm. Who's my friend? This is like the most gorgeous, like if you guys plant impatiens in your region, you know, the, the yeah, my dogs are going crazy, sorry. If you plant impatiens in your region, and I'm in like zone four, this is the pink color I use. I have pink, orange, and red, and it's called the Hot Mix. Ooh, look at what we have there. Stunning, 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 stunning. Okay, it is so pretty, such a pretty color, and you know, it's pink stiletto. I love it, love it. Okay, so next, let's go for this one. It's Caribbean Sunset. Ooh have nice clean innocent little oh and it's a spritz it is a spritz which is very cool so let's see it's an iridescent iridescent based spray medium used to add color da, 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 da. so we've we're gonna have some sparkle some iridescence i just shot it everywhere i should not be allowed to be alone with scrap supplies all right, so let's see what a Caribbean sunset looks like. It looks like happiness and color and brightness all at the same time. So let me, whoop, whoop. look at that, guys. I have a little bit of splatty bits that happen, so I'm not going to feel compelled to move that around. And it goes out into this great, like, fruit punch color. Beautiful, lovely. Shot it everywhere again. And that's why we have our mat out to save us from ourselves. Okay, two more left. I have a Vibes Mango Tango. So Vibes, like we talked about, you're gonna have some of the shimmer in life, which is fab, just fab. Okay, let's see how we like to spray. Come on, get in there. Trying to go a little bit slow. Oh, well, that didn't work. It's trying to get a couple splatty bits, but I do have a really strong spray here. So I'm going to wash it out a little bit too. It's got some. Okay, very pretty. Very, very pretty. There we go. Look at that. So, I mean, this is like uh, absolutely what I call cherry red. It's as gorgeous bright color it's gonna match perfectly with the red tone that is in the coco vanilla studio new line the sun kiss line actually most of my colors will work perfectly with that line you know because it's beautiful and bright and happy now my very last one it is called ruby and ruby is a spritz as well so we're gonna have some nice shimmery sparkle happiness in there much deeper, deeper red though. So let me show you what I've got. Let's see. Guys, I have had the best luck with all of these. I haven't clogged any of them up with being rude to them or anything. I wanna spread this color around a little bit, but do you see how that's so much deeper? Such a deeper red. I mean, it definitely has the pink still in it, but Look at those splatty bits too, guys. Oh, and then here where it's sprayed really light, it's just gorgeous. Let's get a little drippage. Come on, let's do a little drippage. I'm trying not to add too much water to my drippage because I want to see what they really look like. There we go. That is stunning. Like that right there as a tag would make me happy and I could walk away. I mean, look at the lines we're getting in it. Yeah. Clearly, I'm overly excited. Let me go this way. Okay, so I didn't tell you. If you put Shannon in the comments, when you go to the Shimmers store, and I'll have the links down below, you will get a freebie, which is super, super cool. So make sure you get my name in the comments because you will be so bummed if you make an order. And, oh, look at that. That kind of looks like, I don't know, like the top of a tree. Yeah, you'll be so bummed if you make your order and you don't get the freebie that you can have. So once again, like I said, just go ahead and put my name in there. Put Shannon, put Shannon Aller. Shannon's probably easiest. I think I'm the only Shannon on the DT. So that makes it nice and easy squeezy. All right, I'm going to take a couple pictures of my 
beautiful array of goodness that I have sitting over here. Like seriously, guys. Or maybe I'll just show you. I'll show you right now because it's that pretty. And I know you're getting a glare on this. Let me put that right back there so it doesn't have to bother you. All right. So watch it for one second because I don't want to get you sick. But look at that row of happiness that I have there with pinks and reds, right? They're so pretty. And then, uh, yes, people. Yes, people. Just glorious goodness and happiness. And look at my swatch cards. I am so proud of me. I just don't know what to do with it. Let me show you this really quick, this glorious day. Do you see that nice bit of shimmer while it's drying? So pretty. So pretty. I mean, look at these. That's a vibe. So I'm getting just a beautiful amount of shimmer. Okay. That's my project for today. Like I said, go ahead and leave my name when you order yourself some, goody, some goodies. Hello. And you'll get a freebie. It'll be awesome. And leave comments down below. Tell me what colors I should order next. Like, what are your top, let's just say your top three colors of shimmers. I'm dying to know. All right. Bye, friends.